This is one of the ways you praise God by maintaining a heart of gratitude. Because you can't effectively praise God if you don't have this position. Praise always comes from the position of gratitude, from the position of thankfulness, irrespective of the situation. Come on, amen. Irrespective of the situation. Next verse. Verse 16, he says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Now, spiritual songs there means songs of the Spirit. But I want us to observe something here. It says, it says teaching and admonishing yourself, admonishing one another in psalms. That means our psalms and our hymns should have the capacity to teach and admonish. Who understands that? You know, our psalms and hymns, and this goes for all our singers, you know, and all the songwriters. That means you don't write songs that cannot teach. You don't write songs that cannot admonish. It says our psalms and hymns should have the capacity to admonish. That means sometimes someone comes and is talking about their problems, their answer or the admonition or the teaching can be a song. Come on, amen. You know, can be a song. Can be a song. When they're complaining about how terrible things are, then you start singing, the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. Not his mercy endures for two weeks, his mercy endures forever. You know, his mercy endures forever. So he says the songs should be designed in such a way that you receive admonition, you receive encouragement, teaching. It is spiritual songs. We said that is songs of the spirit. That is when you sing in the spirit. Singing, look at that. Singing with grace in your heart to God. You know, to the Lord. Singing with grace in your heart. So now we see how we should sing. We should sing with what? Grace in our hearts. Sing with grace in our hearts. So you say, what does it mean to sing with grace in your heart? Is it possible to sing without grace? Let's look at the NIV version. It gives us a word that helps us capture what Paul was saying here. He says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom and as you sing psalms, as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, look at that, with gratitude in your hearts to God. So when he refers to grace in your heart, he was referring to what? Gratitude. That means your disposition in your praise should stand, stem from a place of what? Gratitude. A place of gratitude. That means our singing is born out of contemplation of all that God is to us, of all that he has done for us. Come on, amen. 